Hi guys. Okay, it is full throated. Hi guys. Full throated, and it's a quite a day today. Sunny. It's like seventy degrees outside, which is amazing. Parker's gonna do her last track meet. You said today's the last track meet as a senior, so that's really exciting. Last I'm gonna track bring meet. the big camera and take. Pictures. It's gonna be so fun, right? So that's gonna be fun. Um, what do I have on today? I just did an OOTD, but I'm wearing a full khaki outfit. I want to talk about these khaki pants later because I've been on a quest for God knows how long for the perfect pair of khaki pants. I don't know what it is. Sometimes like you think like a pair of khakis would be the easiest thing to find, but it's not. Nope. Um, so these are R RPM 53 and it's a Japanese brand and they're not cheap, but they are so worth every penny. They don't sag in the butt after a while. There's just so many things I have to talk about with these pants, so I love them. Um, I have our Lee bag on today. I am really into the Lee slouchy. I have the black one on today, and then I decided to pop it with our new shoulder strap. And what I have on this is actually our little envelope clutch. I just think what's so great about this bag is the fact that you can attach all these things to it, and then I just love the slouchiness of it. Look at it, it just kind of does its own thing. I've got, a, you know, my basics in here, but it's just just the greatest. I love this so much. I love it with the khaki. I'm just wearing black with khaki today. And my jewelry game, I have our both of our cuffs on today. Um, usually I wear this one or this one alone, but then I decided today I'm gonna get like crazy. And I kind of actually love it. I love it that you could cuff it together and it just looks awesome. And I have our pinky ring on, and then I have my own other rings that are found, uh, or just my own rings in my in my repertoire. And then um, what else? Man? Oh, and then I have our our um, horns and our fine collar. And then I got this. I've been using brooches because I I um I always like to collect brooches, but I don't know what to do with them. So I have actually been wearing them as a necklace, and it's perfect on this fine collar you could just kind of thread it through so it's just kind of cool like just use whatever you have and then put it through this fine collar necklace and it's really great this is a great piece to have in your closet um so what else matt what else that's got nothing to say we saw um the second episode of loot and we're liking it more yeah i like it more today i do i do um real quick i was trying to pick if i was wearing my khaki outfit matt what color Jane bag I would use. And I have two contenders, but I kind of want to ask you guys what you think. So forget that you don't need to do the straps on here, but just would you do ice blue maybe? Or the green with the khaki? Maybe, right? Kind of gives it that kind of look. I was thinking also the croc might be super great with it, right? Or um, the butter yellow might be good too because it gives it a little pop or pink. I love pink with khaki. I think that's really nice too. So again, these colors are so subtle that they could go with anything you have. And if you have a basic pair of khakis, look, the yellow is really nice on here. So you could just pop anything. And I think that's what it is. It's not a pastel where you're like, ooh, I have to match it to something else. You could pop these colors with any neutrals, any pair of jeans, anything that you have that is just, you know, it'll just go with anything which is amazing. So I'm just really like, cannot wait for PTTV because we're just gonna go for it and do so many pairings. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I found, okay, so let's do the um, PT dose of the day. PT dose of the day, I was trying to think what that means. PT dose of the day is just our, our little um, tidbit for you guys for a better life, right? Or like just how to live your life a little better and how to age a little bit more gracefully. And um, so, <laughs> this is really weird, but I'm going to share it because it's weird. Okay, so when you were a baby, and with a lot of cultures around this world, PT, people squat, okay? So this concept of squatting... Wait, have you been seeing my squat videos now? No, something something came on and this like Icelandic woman yes, had a... on the YouTube. You were watching it? Yeah, because I've been, because you know my injury, right? So I've oh. been doing, I've discovered squatting. What? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so this came Sounds on. Sounds weird to Western ears. I know, but then if you go like, like go in like even in European countries, yeah. and also in in Asia. That's why I've been doing this. adult squat. But this is what it is. I think when you're thinking about longevity and how how do you keep healthy, and you know you look at Brian it's Johnson on the same page with squat. You look at Brian Johnson <laughs> and you're like, um, you know, how we to live. We have the weirdest YouTube feed. Oh, I know, I know. People must think we're crazy. Like we must be like psychotic, but it's a great feed. Uh, so, I mean, it's a crazy feat. So, 
Brian Johnson is this guy, if you don't know who he is. He's um, the guy who did Venmo and he cashed out and he's on this quest for just trying to figure out how to live your life longer. So he's kind of like supposedly, but reversed his age to age 18. Okay. He kind of looks like a weird little boy right now, which kind of scares me. But Don't get put off by I know, his I know, like I know. grandiose claims or the packaging, but the, at the core of his message, I think is good stuff. Right. And he, he, you know, he thinks he's Christopher Columbus on the quest for longevity, which is if, awesome. If that means he's going to do the work, then great. Great. Yeah. Great. Awesome. But he's got all day. So he's got all day to just do his thing and go to bed by five and get a hundred percent on his score. sleep score. But okay, cool. Uh, I'm shooting for 80. <laughs> like good for you, Brian Johnson. Cause I can't get, I'd like to. Do you think like any day you get 80 is a good day? 80 is an amazing day. You can feel the difference when you get 80 Absolutely. on your sleep score. Okay. So let's go back to the squatting. So this whole concept of longevity and I, you know, like I want to live till 150, like whatever, if that's your quest, mm -hmm. awesome. But mm -hmm. I think for my quest is like, how do I stay the healthiest that I can be? So when I do get older, I look at my parents, they're super active. My dad is over 80 and he is still like traveling, moving his luggage around, driving every, like he, uh, we're like, what, how old are you? Like we forget, right? And he's moving and like, the guy's got like a core, like there's no one else. Like you can't even push him over, he's that strong. It's so crazy. But he's been practicing it consistently every single day. So. Basically, I think if you have a test for yourself in terms of like, if I get to 80, I want to, if I fall on the ground, I don't, I want to figure out how, be strong enough that I could get up on my own without using really my hands in a weird way, right, Matt? And that's your, that's the test of strength of what you can do with that. That, that, goes, uh, that Peter Atia book goes yes. into all of these tests that you should shoot for. Right. Like that when you're octogenarian, when you're 80, can you get up from a ground position without help, without using yes. it, stuff like that? And having enough uh, balance so that you don't fall. Because when you do get older, one of the biggest things that people die from is when they fall. It's mm -hmm. crazy. And it's not because they die from the fall. They die from the fact that they can no longer move and be viable after the fall. And then they have some kind of a disease or die. So anyways, so I'm on a quest to be strong, not like, muscle strong, like not crazy, like, you know, healthy strength, uh, you know, like I'm not going to be You're a not looking for gym muscles. person, yeah. but I want to be strong. And I've been really working on my core and I've been doing this consistently for a very long time. But so I watch this thing and I think you're totally right. Like, so babies, this is what we do, right? It sounds weird, but yeah. yeah. And then can you get and, your ankles, can you get your heels on the floor? Yeah, it's, it's difficult, right? And yeah. so what I've been trying to do is when Dude, I that's good. when I do my laundry, so instead of like bending over to open up the thing, yeah. I've been doing this. It's just little tiny consistent also, you, things. Also, when you're reading or even when you're trying to do your computer. It's hard. I'm going to be out of breath soon. Yeah. It's hard though, but you got to really engage your entire good. body. Then, oh, you have to make sure your back is straight, not, not okay. uh, yeah. So, so you basically, just, you just like this. It feels really good. Basically, there's a lot of people with restrooms that they still have to squat yeah. and you look at the Okinawan ladies. I'm not looking to do that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, but the key is you gotta be able to get up by yourself. Nice. So you can't do it where you're like this. Pulling yourself up. Or right, whatever. you gotta just figure it out so that you gotta be strong enough so that you can just stand up. And that is, she was explaining it, it's a lot of engaging your entire core and all of your legs. That's a good video. Time, right? It's yeah. a good video. Her video is good. She's got a six pack. She's like jacked. Zaka or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, right? what yeah. is she, like Eastern European or Icelandic? I think so. Whatever she is, she's super strong. She's got a little pigtail. She's blonde. Um, it's making it happen. Right. So she's talking about the squatting. So I know it sounds really weird and it's just a bizarre thing to talk about, but it makes a lot of sense to me that, I mean, how long do you have to engage in the squatting per day? Not that long, long, right? No. Just so that you can, just so that you know that you're strong enough that you could do this maybe for like two minutes. It's like planking almost. I think you hold it for like 20, 30 seconds and then you get up. That's you know, it? For a minute. Like, okay. You don't go crazy. Yes, and I've been doing this thing and I'll show I'm you guys. in the shower too. It's actually, it's good in the shower. Okay. A little slippery, but okay. Maybe. Good idea. You um, can hold on. You can use the wall for support. You can't hold. You can use this. Huh? That defeats no, the I'm purpose. I'm saying if you're in a shower. But you can't hold like that defeats the I mean, purpose. You can you can <laughs> stabilize yourself so you're not going to fall without jeopardizing the benefits. Okay. All right. 
Anywho, I don't suggest you doing something slippery and then you fall on your head. Nor do don't do I. that. So I'm let's not do that. But I'm just saying, safely. Give it a try. Um, maybe if it's 30 seconds, awesome. And then I've been doing this thing where I'll show you guys tomorrow. I, I've got to do my early, early morning workout yeah. routine. I do work out every day, but well, I, I do. I find the squatting thing like I'm doing all these things like just when we're watching TV. Yeah, so just it's like 30 just seconds. Watch a little bit. It's the consistency of it. It's just doing it every day. I think that's the key, and you don't have to do that much. But if you do it every day, it compounds and it really adds up. But you have to do it every day. So the other thing that I've been doing is doing this roll tuck. So I love rolling and then rolling back and rolling forward and standing up by myself. So I've been practicing it for a while and finally I can do it. And so it's kind of fun. So, and that's all about that. It's all about the fact that you just need to engage and get up by yourself. And the other thing I really encourage and I really strongly believe and everybody thinks I'm crazy sometimes when I go on vacation, when you see stairs versus elevator, Take or them. you see walking versus that, whatever that thing is, what do you call it? The helper, mm -hmm. you unless can, you're in a you hurry, walk just walk and just go up the stairs. Doing those tiny little things like that every day also adds up. Money in so, the bank. So these are all little things to get stronger. And I think it's really important. And I don't care how old you are. I think. You know, when we were in our 40s and 30s, when we had our kids, I was in the worst shape. We were in such bad shape, Matt. Like we never. I wish we'd been doing this worked since out our, since, since we turned 30. Then we'd be in a no, much better shape. Like in my 20s, I was in like the best shape, always working out. And then when kids came along, 30s and 40s, that's when we were just like not in a great shape. And we thought we were so young and still in good shape. And somehow when you Let's think just you're... say we were taking money out of the <laughs> right. And I don't know why, but when I was that age, around like that time when we had the kids. I, you, you sometimes also have selective memory, so you still think that you were in your 20s, and you're like, oh yeah, I just went to the gym yesterday, but you really didn't go to the gym, and you didn't go for 10 years, right? So anyways, I think it's the consistency, and I think one of the things I'm gonna put into my things I do every day in the morning is maybe a squat for two, two minutes. And I think, I don't know, just sit there and squat for Dude, a while. Dude, you can greet the sun while you're squatting. Right, right? You gotta, yeah, and just, do that. It looks so weird, but it, try it with me tonight it, when we watch TV. You'll see it's like really, it's good. In other countries, people do this like all day. The other thing that you do is it's you're down like this. I do this when I wake up in the morning because yeah. you know you're stiff and is it you're like this, mm -hmm. and then you got this hand down on that foot. And oh, then, it's stretch. And you reach up. Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slowly and hold it, and it, you'll feel it. Anyways. I, no, no, it's good. I'm just saying we just went on for five minutes about squatting. Yeah, because it's good. <laughs> so that's that's the daily dose. Learn to squat and do it two minutes a day and do it consistently. And then I swear to God, it'll just be so good for you for balance, for mobility. And if you can't do it from two minutes a day, start with 10 seconds, 20 yeah, seconds. 10 it doesn't seconds. matter. Just doing it, getting your body just And if you can't used put your it. heels down or if like, it's don't it's worry, okay. just do what you can do. It's like doing a push up. Like at first you can't do it. And you can have, Knees you can be against your back right. against the wall and that'll help you get your yes. heels down. Just yes. do what you can do. It just depends on how flexible you are and how mobile you are, but just try it. It's, and then just start engaging with it. You know, it's not like you're gonna walk around like that in the house, but when you do have times where you're doing something you that you can stand there. you have a task you can do while you're doing, like I, I folded the laundry like that this week. Yes, it's yeah. really good. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, okay. But I've been doing it for a while since, cause I got this injury. Do you feel like it's helped? Yes. Okay. And also the other thing in the morning when it, you don't have to put socks on, but I'm trying, to, one of the other Atiyah's thing is being able to balance yes. on one foot. Yes. So I've like trying to put your socks on. That's good. On one foot. It's humbling. It's very good. And you know what I do also is, well, we have this tempo machine that we, I do my weights on. And so between the weights, there's always 30 seconds. So I do do that, Matt. So there's an exercise I do where I do the 30 seconds where I go like this. It's good. I try to stand up. And then you also try to do this. Move your legs all the way back. And that's all about balancing and just really utilizing your core. And these are all things that you need to do in order to age well. So. That's what I'm. That's what we're up to. That's what we're up to. Um, so, that's it. That's the dose of the day. All right. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.